Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and I'm sad to say that we're sold out of all the private stock stuff that I put up without any notice. Uh, and everybody that's picked up something, thank you guys so much. We've got a full table today of stuff to look at and there's a lot of incredible things, including all the private stock wallets that are going out today. Let's start first here with a really special Fat Herbie. This is a hand-stitched Fat Herbie in natural shell cordovan and this is the double reverse variant where we show shell cordovan and reverse shell cordovan on the outside as well as on the inside where we get the shell in the center here. Here's another private stock item. This is the lizard texture on the Apple watch band. Check out that really neat texture. And this is a, a strap that we've lined with some 1940s calf skin on the underside. And this is the blonde color of the 1940s calf. Here's another really cool private stock watch strap. This is in the Pearl DeVille color. And this one sort of reminds me of Detroit Lions colors with this incredible blue on the back. And this is actually the reverse side of the regatta blue latigo, again, paired with that Pearl DeVille. Here's another total stunner. This is our passport field notes holder. And on the outside here, this is actually green scotch grain texture. Check that out. Really interesting. And I think the green shell goes really well with the scotch grain texture. It's almost like it was meant to be. And on the inside of this guy, we've got some Western Amaretto shell cordovan. Here's another private stock item, Fat Herbie this time in all reverse garnet shell cordovan. And what's interesting about the reverse garnet is it does kind of look like the reverse color eight shell cordovan. And we've paired this one with some really nice red stitching to play off the garnet shell color. And the only place you really get to see the garnet shell on this one is in the interior center. Up next is a Fat Herbie in a really nice piece of English tan Dublin. This one has been personalized for BDM. Here's another really nice English tan Dublin piece. This is our best selling item actually. This is the Johnny the Fox, again in English tan Dublin. Beautiful orangey tan shade. And on the inside we actually use thinner English tan Dublin horse hides to match the Dublin on the outside, which is made out of a steer hide. Here's a custom item. I don't think this one was in the private stock, but this is an all reverse piece. And it looks like a version of our Fat Herbie wallet that we call the World Traveler. And on this guy, we allow this little flap to remain open so you can fit a passport on the inside. Check out the really cool random die marks on this piece. Here's another really cool wallet in a leather that we haven't done very much of. This is a leather that we're calling Chromic Shell which is, it's the Cordovan horse butt tanned like the Chromic cell. But this one's a little bit different because it's been shaved down to the shell layer itself. I'm not sure the story with this, but it's definitely a different and unique look. On the inside, we've paired that same Chromic shell, the black, with some raw natural. And here's a natural Chromic cell Frank the Enforcer going out today. We also have a natural Chromic cell Tony the Ant here. And this one has been personalized for JRH. Here's another Tony the Ant, but this one is a little bit different. This is what we call the tall Tony the Ant. So on the outside here, we have a bill slot that goes all the way to the top, as opposed to our standard Tony the Ant that has the thumb notch on the outside. Let me give you a look at the interior of this one. More color H shell cordovan, and these are some really nice looking shells. Now here's a wallet that makes me really happy. This is our Fat Herbie on a brand new leather offering, but this is the private stock version of the M's Chrome Excel. And the color here is russet brown. And when I cut this one, I intentionally cut the horse mane down the spine and the card slot centers of this wallet. And I just really like that look. It might not translate very well on the uh, video here, but the texture is significantly different on the horse manes. And I think it really highlights the center of the exterior as well as the center of the card slots very nicely. Here's another private stock wallet. This is our Fat Herbie in the color number eight, but this is color number eight Chrome Excel. It's really smooth, bright and shiny. And this is the same color as the color eight shell cordovan. It's just been translated onto a different leather here called Chrome Excel. And it's a little bit more red on the Chrome Excel. Here's a wallet that really excited me the first time I saw it. This is a special creation by uh, Lupe in the shop here. Check this out. Natural lizard shell cordovan on the outside with a brand new color for the middle piece here. This is actually violet shell cordovan from Horween. It's kind of like the ultraviolet and kind of like the magenta, but it's definitely just more of a straight up purple shade where sometimes the ultraviolet and magenta shell can read a little bit more pink. I think this one's just more of a true purple. And we've got that same pairing with the violet and natural lizard on the interior center here. Here's another really special piece. This is a Johnny the Fox in emerald shell cordovan. This is a little bit more of a true green shade, a little bit more of a vivid green when we compare it to the dark green shell that we've been familiar with for years and years. 
This emerald green is really nice and it's a more new color offering from Horween. I think that pairs really well with the color rate reverse on the interior. And we've got a couple more special Johnny the Foxes. This is a denim blue shell cordovan Johnny the Fox here. Really nice blue shade in the same way that the emerald is a little bit more of a vibrant blue, sh uh, vibrant green shade. The denim blue is a little bit more of a vibrant blue shade when compared to the intense blue shell. And on the inside of this guy, we've got a black shell cordovan interior and one more really special Johnny the Fox. So this is a leather called tumbled verdigris shell cordovan. Really interesting texture, which is unique to the shell. Oftentimes the shells are known for being very flat and smooth. The tumbled shells are a little bit more pebbled up. And because the shell cordovan never creases, the tumbled shell pebbles in a very different and unique way. You're never going to find a texture like this on a leather that is not shell cordovan. And on top of that, I just really like this sort of pale green shade in the tumbled verdigree. Here's a look at the inside. We've paired this with a reverse black shell cordovan interior. And I think these pair very nicely together. Up next is a really great leather for patina. This is the raw natural shell cordovan on our vault key holder. I also got a couple private stock Apple watch bands here. This one first is really neat couple extra adjectives for this piece of shell cordovan. This is the Western marbled black shell cordovan and has a really unique look. I like the marbled shells with this texture and I think it makes it even more special. And speaking of special, the backsides of these straps also have this emerald green shell and I think that's really perfect to match with the uh, Western marbled black on the top side here. So this side is the side that will face the world and then you'll have this emerald green side touching your wrist. Here's another great Western texture on the Apple Watch Band. This is Amaretto Shell Cordovan with the Western texture, but the, the liner on it, this is actually the, it's a little bit more of like an orange color of the 1940s calf. I forget what they're technically calling it. Sometimes we call this the orange 1940s. But the story here with the 1940s calf is this is leather that has been sitting in the tannery since 1941. And they're not able to reproduce it again. So this is sort of a rare breed. And it's very thin, so we're not able to make it into most of our products. But every now and then, we'll do special orders on it. Now check out this fat Herbie. This was an experiment that Danae was trying out in the shop here. This is what we're calling the bot botanical uh look on the fat herbie so we took some leaves and pressed them in with some stains here to give it that look and i think the composition here of how the leaves are pressed are just about perfect because I, I like the way it looks this way and i like the way it looks this way and i like the way it looks all together i think that turned out really well and on the center here we've got some black shell cordovan black hand stained edges we also have black shell cordovan on the interior with the baby ashland stamp on the interior right here. And here's another fat Herbie with some black shell cordovan, but this is black shell cordovan inside and outside. This is a standard offering from us that we try to keep in stock all the time. Here is a Capone money clip that I'm seeing for the first time right now. This looks to be the M's Chrome Excel in the russet brown color with a gold clip on it. And I think that looks really cool. This must be a special order from somebody. And let's stick with Capones for a second. Check out this tumbled natural shell Cordovan Capone here. And the centerpiece here, this is actually marbled cigar shell that's also been tumbled, which is extra unique. And then we've got this really cool sort of baby blue teal thread on all the exterior pieces. Here's a look at the inside here too. More tumbled natural shell Cordovan with that same sort of teal blue stitching which I think looks great. Here's another Johnny the Fox in a leather that I'm still very excited about. This is a leather called DeVille from Horween. It's a veg tan leather, but it's been t treated a little bit differently than the Dublin, but it's pretty similar. So the big difference here is the DeVille has been polished down smooth, so you get a little bit less grain character, but this also has a hazy wax finish on it, which gives it a nice sort of pale color. And it's really difficult for any tannery to make a gray leather, which is why I like this one. It's just a really nice gray. And on the inside, we've got some more of that 1940s calf on the left and right, and then that orange color with some more Pearl DeVille in the center. Here's another standard offering from us. Very beautiful. Even our standard offerings are also unique treasures. All of them are just a little bit different because everything is handcrafted and each piece of leather is also hand finished. So you're never gonna get two pieces alike even if it's a standard offering from us. This one's in the black shell cordovan. Here's another Frank the Enforcer here. Marbled color number eight shell cordovan with really cool color range on this one. It sort of ranges from an orangey tan to more of that traditional burgundy shade of the color eight shell cordovan. And I've got a private stock Frank the Enforcer also to show you. More of that violet shell cordovan. And this one for me is a total stunner. There's something about this wallet in person just has a really magical luster to it. Just sort of how the light hits 
all of the uh, dimensions of this wall it looks really great and then we've got some lizard texture on the center here and i believe that is green lizard to pair with the violet shell cordovan and here's another capone money clip this one actually has three different leathers on it and i'll give you a look at all of them on the bottom here this is actually raisin cherry latigo which is a color if you watch the uh skip horween latigo interview he talks about this color being very popular back in the day and i still think it's a really nice reddish brown shade we've got some pearl deville in the center and then on the left side here this is actually tan bison chrome excel but this bison chrome excel has had a, an additional texture impressed into it so it is a real bison skin but they've sort of accentuated the texture just a little bit more with uh, an embossing on it so we've got on the inside the same look but on the left here we've got that tan bison and raisin cherry latigo on the right we also have one of our brand new lighter sheets going out today this is in the raw denim shell cordovan we also have one in the garnet shell cordovan which is the most red color of shell cordovan that horween produces here's a nice looking frank the enforcer in reverse black shell cordovan and i know it does not appear black at all that's because the reverse sides of the black shell of this really neat sort of pale green shade. Here's a Bugs Moran in a really cool combo. We've got Garnet Shell Cordovan on the exterior. Check, take a look at that shell. The Garnet Shells that we've been cutting from for the last year or so are really, really nice. Some of the nicest shells that I've ever seen. And on the interior here, we've got a reverse Garnet interior. Here's a Tony the Ant in my favorite black leather. This is the Black Dublin leather from Horween. And the Black Dublin from Horween is the only black leather that I found that has a really interesting character to it it's very natural in appearance and a lot of black leathers in the world just look really heavily finished and painted on here's another one of our most popular walls right now this is a giant the fox in english chan dublin this one has been personalized for tjm thank you so much tjm here's a look at the interior of your wallet another giant the fox here also in the raw denim shell cordovan check that out i really like the raw shells for two reasons i like that they start off a little bit more of like a matte finish and not super bright and shiny like the normal shells do so it gives you an opportunity to see how it changes over time it'll brighten and luster in all of the different colors but the natural uh, raw natural tends to be a little bit more dramatic and i also like this matte finish because it looks a little bit more futuristic or something I'm, I'm not sure what's going on with the raw shells but i really like the luster of them here's a look at the interior of this one we have a reverse black shell cordovan interior and here's a fantastic looking fat herbie in marbled black shell cordovan check this guy out really cool green forest green shades on the back side here that sort of range down to a little bit more of an orangey yellow tan take a look at the inside though we've got more marbled black shell cordovan i like when you get to see a little bit of this contrast from the orange right to the green like you can see on the left card holders here here's another private stock wallet with a special little twist i really like this m's chrome excel and this piece is really nice this is a little bit more of a cleaner look on this particular one because the horse fronts that the m's chrome excel are cut from are pretty rough all horse fronts uh, have a lot more natural in inconsistencies in them so this is a little bit cleaner than normal but on the interior of this one check out this orange stitching and extra figuring on the interior left i think this one looks really cool and here's another natural m's piece this is probably cut from the same exact hide as that last wallet we looked at but i cut this one down the mane of the horse and i really like this look of the horse mane down the center it sort of symbolically represents the animal cutting the mane down what the mane of the wallet would be and i just like the look of the texture and the color difference of it, it makes it a little bit more unique so we cut it down the spine but i also cut it down the interior card holders like you can see here here's another one of our tony the ants but this is the tall tony also in a horse hide, but this is the Stone Latigo. It's a really nice sort of subtle brown gray color. I'll give you a look at the interior here. And I have another tone of the anterior. This is one I like a lot. This is kind of interesting, the outside here. This is actually the reverse side of some cigar shell cordovan, and then they pressed a Western texture into the reverse side. So it's a really interesting look. It's a little bit lighter than the natural shell cordovan that Horween normally does. And here's some cigar in the centerpiece and on the interior we've got cigar shell cordovan with raw natural underneath here's another look at a wallet that we have a really hard time keeping in stock johnny the fox here in 100 percent color number eight shell cordovan take a look at the beautiful piece of the classic shell cordovan color here and this is the part that's challenging for us to get the naturally thin pieces of leather for the interior for all these different layers of card holders it's really tough for us to get and not every shell is even remotely close to being the appropriate thickness 
for those card holders. So it's really tough for us to do. And then all of the edges on the 100% color eight shell giant the foxes, as well as the 100% black shell, all these edges are stained to match the shell. So this has color number eight stain on all of the edges. Here's another giant the fox. This one is in the black shell cordovan that I referenced, but on the inside of this guy, it's a little bit different. I want to give you a look at the black shell first because I love how the light hits and reflects off of this black shell. I think it looks really neat. And here's the look at that reverse interior. The interior here with the reverse black is a little bit more of a casual, more unique look where the outside is a little bit more of that classic black shell cordovan. Here's another incredible marbled black shell cordovan fat herbie. Check out this piece of all that different color range from the orange to green. I think that's really special. And I love this on the left here. For me, I like a really dramatic contrast like this left card holder has. I think most people actually prefer the one on the right. I think I just like it a little bit more extreme. All right, wow, we got a lot more wallets to show you. And it's kind of crazy because this isn't even everything that we're shipping out today. So if you don't see your wallet in the video here, don't freak out. You'll probably get a shipping notice a couple hours after this video goes up. This next one here is a tall Tony the Ant in natural shell cordovan and the interior more natural shell cordovan. The difference on this one, normally we flip this center piece around to make a nice flush look of a continuous piece of natural shell on the interior, but this time we wanted to highlight the Horwin ink stamp, so we flipped it around backwards. Here's another really nice looking custom wallet. Black shell cordovan on the outside here. This one has been hand stitched with a little bit of a thicker black thread, and on the interior here, this is really neat. I think this is marbled color eight shell. And it's a little bit different looking than most of the marbled eight. It might even be marbled black, but this one, the reason that's throwing me off a little bit is sometimes you see a little bit this red sort of burgundy color, and sometimes it looks like a normal black marbled. It's a really unique piece here with the uh, smaller Ashland stamp on the right. Now here's a really cool looking piece. This is a tall Tony the Ant, and what might be magenta shell, this is like either magenta shell cordovan or a lighter version of the ultraviolet. And the colors do range a little bit. This one might be magenta. It's, it's a little bit lighter. And the reason it's throwing me off is some angles, it appears more like a standard ultraviolet here. But as I tilt it, I can see it gets a little bit more vivid and bright. You can see a little bit more of these pink sort of magenta tones show up. Here's an Apple watch band in the classic color number eight shell cordovan. All the Apple watch bands that we do in our normal watch traps are all unlined unless you custom order it and we can put a backer on it. I actually think you might want to just save your money because I think the online straps are just a little bit more comfortable, especially in something like shell cordovan. The reverse sides of the shell here that you can see that little bit of a lighter color, those tend to polish up and get really smooth just with normal use on your wrist. And we've got a couple one shot card cases going out today. This is the raw natural Latigo. That's a little bit different than most Latigos. I really like this color and I like the texture. It's just a little bit something different. Here's another one shot card case, but this is the Bison Chrome Excel and this is a Navy Bison. You can see that same texture they were talking about before that's been pressed in to just accentuate the Bison just a little bit more. Here's another beautiful wallet. Check out this natural shell cordovan. Really beautiful piece of shell here. And this is our Tony the Ant in that natural shell. One of the best leather options for patina. This particular one has been personalized for WPB. And we've got a few Bugs Morans to look at here. Check this piece out. Color 8 Chrome Excel here with vertical card slots. And I really like the look of the Color 8 Chrome Excel on this sleek design here especially on the outside. That's the difference between the Tony and the Bugs Moran. The Bugs Moran has no bill slot on the exterior and it's about the size of a deck of cards. Here's another vertical card slot Bugs Moran, but this time it's in our most popular leather color. This is the English Tan Dublin and that's a really great piece of English Tan Dublin with all this nice natural grain character on the outside here. Another one of our private stock Bugs Morans here. This one is in the tan bison chrome excel with a green stitching on the outside. And I think those colors go really well together. And here's a look at the inside where we've got some Kelly green Latigo paired with that same tan bison chrome excel. Another private stock wallet here, that same Pearl DeVille leather that I've been really into. It's a little bit more of a gray color, which is not often found on most natural appearing leathers. A lot of times you have to find gray leather that looks more like paint. So that's why I like this particular piece. Very natural in appearance here. And I think this goes really well with this yellow Latigo on the interior. So on the inside here, yellow Latigo on top of some more Pearl DeVille, and we've got yellow stitching all the way inside and then gray stitching all through the outside. And one more Bugs Moran to look at. This is natural Chrome Excel, really nice piece of leather here. And what you're looking for in Chrome Excel is a really luxurious feel. It should feel really rich and sort of buttery, but you also should see 
a subtle sheen which is a tongue twister. This one has been personalized for DJO. Thank you so much, DJO. Now here's something that I know a lot of people would probably be into. We actually had this psychedelic shell Corvin from a private stock event back in March this year, or maybe it was late February. We had the customer pick up a few different wallets and they never actually opened them. <laughs> so they sent them back to us for a refund. So I thought it'd be good to include for this private stock event that we did over the weekend. Check this out. It's, it's good to share this one again. I really love that color range in the psychedelic shell and just the look itself is totally unique. So hopefully Horween can produce more of this leather. Let me give you a look at the inside here. This is reverse black shell cordovan. It looks like we cut some extra dye stains onto the interior. And last but not least, I, I think this wallet is my favorite. It was so many incredible pieces on the table today, but this one here really stands out to me. I was talking to my brother about it. He, he likes this one, but I think I, I like it a lot more than him. This might be one of my favorite wallets I've ever done. So this is all ultraviolet everything. So we've got ultraviolet on the outside. All of the edges on this one are also stained to match that. But I think what throws this guy over the top is the reverse interior here. And I think this was stained on the reverse side of the shell as opposed to the shell side. So what you're seeing, even though it looks very nicely finished and smooth, this is not shell. This is actually the reverse side of the shell cordovan. And then we hand glazed it smooth I really like the look of this wallet. Again, one of my favorite wallets that we've ever done. So thanks for checking out all the wallets in the video today. And it's crazy that uh, all this private stock stuff sold out. I'm going to try to sneak up some more stuff this week. And in fact, the event that we just did, I snuck it up on you. We didn't really announce it and do a video like I normally do. It's kind of curious to see um, people that are checking in to the site to give people a little bit more opportunity that are sort of just stumbling along to pick up one of these unique treasures. But if there's something in here that is sold out that you're really into, just let us know, send us an email because we can probably make it again. Especially if we have the leather, I can certainly make it again. Usually the leather is the only bottleneck or the only thing holding us up from reproducing any of these special small batch pieces. So thanks again. Hope you have a good one and take care.